Hey boys, welcome back to some Sean Johnson career mode. And as you see there, round 26, what happened to round 24 and 25? Well, I, I'm not entirely sure, but <laughs> I don't have them anymore. So, so what happened, I think, was I was, uh, I was up, up, I was saving the files from the PS4 to my USB and I came back and it said that the USB was full and some didn't get saved. So obviously I looked and I was just going to delete some old stuff and then do it again. But I looked at like the last, the last video I saved was the last video that was meant to be saved. So I was like, oh, right, and then it, it saved them all. But for some reason it didn't do them in order. So, um... Round 24 and 25 are just, they're gone. <laughs> um, unfortunately, I, if I can remember correctly, I think we versed the Tigers in round 24, and I think we actually lost, but right here, wow, this is a nice play. So, we defended pretty nicely, and then beautiful inside pass back to that man, Ben Manolino, being outstanding for us this year. And we were backing up on the inside, or on the outside, I should say, to just score a sensational try. But yeah, round 24, I think, was against the Tigers, which we lost. And round 25, I actually don't know who we versed, but I'm pretty sure we won. So we're going into round 26 here. Uh, we, we're pretty much guaranteed the top four spot, which is nice. We do, I think we have to win this game. Well, I don't know if we do, but it would be nice just to get the get the win in the final round here. But yeah, sorry about the sorry about missing the final two games, but you know, it's not... It's not the biggest problem. We were always going to make the finals. It wasn't like, it wasn't like a, a big problem there. But as you see, we defended well. Again, the Bulldogs had another chance there. We rushed up and put the put the big hit on. And then it's going to be a bit of deja vu. Defending the try line. And we put Solomon Carter into a bit of a gap. And he did really well. He stepped one player, shrugged off another. And once again, we were there for the support. Back on the inside there. And just had a bit too much pace. As you see, Carter here just brushing them aside. And James Graham was there. He was the closest man to get to me, but I just had a bit too much pace. Was able to just go through the line. And once again, the, the Bulldogs, mounting a bit of pressure, were repelled from by good defense, and we just capitalized. So we too missed that conversion. I, didn't, I don't know how, but uh, off the kickoff, we tried to throw it around. I don't know what that pass was. But we give the Bulldogs one last chance here off the scrum. See if they can do something. It'd be a bit annoying to concede a try right on half time, but they do flop the offload there. But it is going to be half time, a 10 0 lead, so that is nice. Uh, the other thing I should mention, because this will be the last round, um, it's obviously going to be a bit of a shorter episode, but also it's going to. I'm going to have the Dally M at the end of this, the Dally M Awards and that sort of thing. So stay tuned for that at the end of the video. Uh, but once again, beautiful play. We, it could have been three tries, the hat-trick, but Johnson decides to pass the ball. One of those times where he just decides to just pass it randomly. Otherwise, it could have just been exactly the same like all the other times. But right here, beautiful stuff. I think it was Sam Tompkins out here. Should have just scored himself, but he passed it to Vatavai, who uh, did have a player marking him, but still scored the try. So we go up 14 to nil. We're just all over the Bulldogs, really. And a very strong breeze left to right here, so it's going to be a tough kick, but we aim it out to the left, curl it back nicely, straighten her up, and 16-0, but unfortunately, we do give the Bulldogs another opportunity to capitalize here, we come up with a big hit right there to shut it down, he was almost through the hole, but did really well, really well actually to uh, shut it down, and then the Bulldogs last tackle, put out the bomb, not a bad bomb actually, got the bat back, but couldn't capitalize, I mean the game's, the game's sewn up, but it'd be nice to, to really put them to bed, Johnson, once again, going through the gap, and right there, it was a bit frustrating because I didn't actually want to offload it. I wanted to pass the ball, but the Bulldogs player just right here, you'll see, he just tackles me before I get the pass away, so it results in an offload, which just hits the deck. And uh, the Bulldogs are going to pick it up and race away and score, so, uh, you know, really good game for us, and the whole team, really, the whole team played very well. Madalino, that man, again, is playing outstanding as the number 15 there goes straight through the gap but yeah just a good solid team performance you know the Bulldogs did score a try but it was pretty much just from a bit of a lucky intercept as uh, Carter another man who's been exceptional this game breaks through another tackle he's been very impressive 
I actually don't know how good he is in, in the game stats-wise, but obviously he's pretty decent. He's breaking through a lot of tackles. As a four tackle, we w went for a little sneaky uh, grubber, see if we could pull off a bit of a freak try, but it didn't happen. And it's going to finish 16-4, six, uh, to four, last game of the regular season. A good solid, good strong wind. Uh, not wind, what the fuck? A <laughs> good solid win, I should say. Uh, the Bulldogs had trouble completing sets, honestly. And here is the Dally M Award. So let's take a look. Sean Johnson just blitzed it. Uh, Thurston Hunt, Marshall, a lot of halfbacks and 5.8s in there. <clears throat> and then the uh, the People's Choice, Sean Johnson, Captain of the Year, Sean Johnson. Top try scorer. I was a little surprised I was top try scorer with 18. That's not huge. <laughs> a little surprising. And then the point scorer, 156. That's pretty decent. Fullback of the Year, Sam Tompkins, Vatavai on the wing. Ferguson, Maloney, Johnson, Hargraves, Smith, Harris, and Marin. So, uh, pretty, pff, Warriors, Roosters, and Storm had pretty good seasons, and obviously Trent Marin there coming in as well. But yeah, dominated by a couple of couple of teams for the team of the year. As uh, we do finish third on the ladder there, and we will be taking on the Rabbitohs in the first round, first week of the finals to move into the preliminary finals if we get the win. So hopefully we do. Stay tuned for the finals, and I'll see you guys next time.